Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Dalren and in today's video I will be showing you guys Demon Hunter Ultimate One Shot for the patch 715. I know that many of you watching this video are subscribers and might be wondering where the Rogue video is. It is on the way guys, so I'm working on it, but while I am working on the video please feel free to enjoy this Demon Hunter damage. Before we go over the one shot capability of the new patch, let's take a look at just how much damage a Demon Hunter can deal in instance PvP in Legion when using this combination. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? This one-shot build uses the updates from the newest patch 715 to combine a few spells together in order to give Demon Hunters great burst potential every 2 minutes, with decent sustained damage outside of your cooldowns, without having to sacrifice for mobility and maximizing the utility potential for solo situations. This build can vary with some talent choices, so feel free to customize this build to suit your liking. I try to make this build in which it would be beneficial for you as a solo PvPer and solo content as a Demon Hunter. Alright, so let's get into the talents. On the first row we have Fellblade, which I decided to use because of its decent damage increase that it deals, the ability to close the gap between the enemy at a low range, ability to generate your fury since you'll be rolling Demon Bite for the extra fury generation, and it just combos so well together into this burst, allowing you seamless damage whenever you need it and great mobility for survivability. Next row is Demon Blades, which basically makes Demon Blades a passive, which gives you oh, auto attacks have a chance to deal shadow damage and generate fury, which which combos really well during your setup for the burst to dish out as much damage as possible with any amount of fury that you gain and allowing you to invest every single global into damaging abilities. 
The next on the list is First Blood, which makes you Blade Dance from an AoE cleave ability that you don't really use in single target rotation into one of the biggest components of your damage increase. With the redesign of how they redid Blade Dance and First Blood and how it interacts together, this becomes literally the meat and bones of how this build deals so much damage, so you'll be using a lot of Blade Dance for this specific build. We're gonna be going for Nemesis instead of Momentum, allowing you a lot more mobility and freedom with your mobility. Plus, Nemesis has been buffed to 25% damage increase, but make sure you don't use it on a druid that's in cat form or bear, otherwise once you kill him, instead of dealing damage to humanoids, you'll actually be dealing 25% more damage to beasts, and who knows how many hunters are gonna be running around in BGs with their pets. I decided to go for Unleashed Power, because your Chaos Nova becomes free of Fury and has a shorter cooldown, allowing you to use it a lot more often whenever you're trying to peel Fury friendlies and set up. This gives the Demon Hunter a little bit more utility and allows you to combo Chaos Nova right after your Metamorphosis stun is out, so you're able to combo two stuns back to back on the enemy while popping all of your burst damage, controlling the enemy, stunning them, locking them down, giving yourself an opportunity to score a kill. And for the last of the list we have Chaos Blades which simply increases your damage, which is something you're gonna wanna get on top of Nemesis and Chaos Blades combined together in PvP in order to burst people down as quickly as possible. For the Honor Talents you will wanna be running Solitude, so then if you are catching an enemy by themselves and one of you wanting them, Solitude will add on 15% more damage. On top of it, Demonic Origins is a new talent that was added to the Honor Talents and is a must use. It makes your Metamorphosis a 2 minute cooldown which lines up with your other bursty cooldowns but it lasts 15 seconds which is a good give and take system. While outside of meta you deal 10% more damage allowing you a little bit more sustain which is quite awesome because you're not completely useless outside of meta. So let's talk about how do you get everything lined up for this burst. Normally I imprison the enemy ahead of time to hold them in place so that I can line up a nemesis, then I use metamorphosis right on top of them. I combo auto metamorphosis, chaos blades and artifact weapon and hopefully my auto attacks generate me fury. If they don't, I simply use fell blade and follow up into blade dance and if by some miraculous reason they're still not dead, continue hitting with every other demon hunter ability available. You can even use chaos nova to stun lock them yet again right after your metamorphosis and just try to dish out as as much damage into them as possible. And that's basically what I do. There are seldom few occasions where an enemy actually survived past all of this burst after the blade dance and if they did survive it was only a few more hits that I needed in order to finally kill them. In most cases with this kind of burst you do score a kill as long as you're not hitting like a paladin hook and bubble or a mage who ice blocks all of your damage. And once you score the kill, Nemesis gives you a 25% boost on whatever you killed. So if the last thing you killed is a humanoid, you'll be able to hit other enemies around you for 25% more flat damage. Once Demon Hunter form and Metamorphosis is over, you have on top of that 10% sustained damage with that 25. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed and if you're somebody who is currently maining a demon hunter or has an alt as a demon hunter but you kind of shelved him away trying to play your main, I think it's the time, perfect time in season 2 to take out the demon hunter off of the shelf, dust the dust off of the guy uh, and put him into a few BGs and just one shot some people. And this would be viable and possible until season 3 when everybody will have to be farming all of that AP. A video coming on that out very very soon but hope you guys enjoyed this video my name is Dalvin thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see all of you in the next video